You're looking for Zash. Well, she's not here. Allow me to introduce myself. Darth Thanaton. Don't worry. I haven't done anything to your master. I'm far too interested in how this game she's playing will turn out. I've waited a long time to meet you. An alien in the Sith ranks is an extremely rare thing. It never ceases to amaze me how narrow-minded the Sith can be. I wouldn't call it narrow-mindedness. The individual and the social will must be reconciled. There are no lords in an anarchy. I'm not concerned with your origins. The trials on Korriban are an honored tradition designed to sift out the unworthy. I trust they've served their purpose. I want to speak to you about your master. You don't like her very much, do you? Darth Zash is arrogant and reckless. The reckless have a way of defeating themselves in the end. When she finally self-destructs, be careful not to get caught in the blast. A young Sith should not associate herself too closely with a master like Zash. It's all right. I'm going to kill her anyway. I will pretend I didn't hear that. You must seek your own way. Carve out your own victories. The Kulti One on Nar Shaddaa was a good first step, but it's not enough. A Sith cannot live without a power base. Good luck. My child, your power has grown since we last met. Your strength will rise and shake the Sith. I feel it. Now, I have another gift for you. One that was dearer to me than even my life. My own lightsaber. Until now, lost to me. But through your great power in the Force, I have found it. You must claim it. So where do I find this lightsaber? I entrusted it to my faithful retainer, Jonas Eskimos. The only servant who didn't betray me when Tulak Horde moved against me. He swore he and his heirs would keep it safe until the time that my heir would return to claim it. His heir is on Nar Shaddaa, working in one of the casinos there. Her name is Mila Eskimos. Go to her and claim your inheritance. You're Mila Eskelos, aren't you? I believe you have a lightsaber that belongs to me. I knew this would happen. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. Please, don't kill me. I'll get the lightsaber back, I promise. You don't have the lightsaber? It's not my fault. It's my father's. Dad was never very smart, but a couple of years ago he topped himself. Put everything we had, lightsaber included, on the sabak table against a sleazebag named Gil Rosen, a known cheater. Lost it all. Just be happy you're dealing with me, and not my ancestor himself. I warned him. But Mill, he says, you gotta stop believing in myths. Now he's dead, and I'm paying off his debts. All of them. I'd get the lightsaber back, but Rosen has it, and he's holed up in the industrial area. It's too dangerous, and I, I can't exactly afford help. Your cowardice sickens me. <laughs> Look, you want to go? Fine. But I'd get killed. Rosen will have guards everywhere. Oh, and please don't kill me. Only an Aeschylus can open the lightsaber case. It's some kind of genetic lock, so if you get it, bring it here. You shouldn't have come here, Seth. I've got eyes and ears all over this city. I heard all about your little talk with the Aeschylus well. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. How about you give me the lightsaber, and I let you live? Look, I'm standing here with Nar Shaddaa's toughest mercenaries. Guys that make the Sith look like school teachers. So, what I'm thinking is, you're gonna listen to me. That's what I'm thinking. Here's what I propose. I give you the lightsaber, and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. That 
or you pay me three million credits. I don't think so. All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith. Uh, sir, you, you do realize. No complaints. I don't pay you to complain. Kill her. Kill her. What are you doing? Sorry, boss. You, you can't pay me enough to fight no Sith. You don't get off that easy. No! I don't want to die! Hey, I can, look, lay off the lightning this time, okay? It's so much fun. <sighs> I, I can't take much more of this. Just give me the case already. There. There's your lightsaber. Now go, please. Here's something to remember me by. Ah, ah, please, no more! Apprentice, you have all the artifacts. Excellent. Meet me on Drummond Cass immediately. I'm sorry I don't have more time to talk. There is much work to do to prepare the ritual. Look at her. No time to talk. Too busy plotting your demise, cruel witch. You have done well, flesh of my flesh, in seeking out your inheritance. But things are more dire than I suspected. I have discovered the nature of Darth Zash's strange rituals. There is no doubt that she intends to cause you harm. Oh, I knew it was too good to last. Yes. Her words smell of honey and taste of poison. Zash praises your great strength, yet she fears it. The rituals she performs are to protect her against the Force. Ask yourself, why go to such lengths to defend herself against the Force if she has no intention of fighting you? I'm not afraid of Zash. Do not let Zash move first. Arm yourself with anger. Steal yourself with hate. Crush her before she has a chance to strike. And if at all possible, do not face her alone, but bring an ally who can break through her defenses. Zash won't know what hit her. Good. I can be no further help to you. I am too weak to face Zash. It depends on you. Just remember, Whatever you do, do not enter the Dark Temple alone. Zash is prepared. <laughs> <laughs>